All right, we're back. If you want to support a good cause, please subscribe on monetary value. It's going to go to the support group. Thanks. Okay. Reporting. Strategic headquarters ordered me to check in as your new personal assistant. I can say it a thousand <laughs> times, but, you know, 83% of people that watch my That's stuff right. aren't subscribed. They assigned me to this post because I knew you already. And probably because we're both women, I bet. Hmm. Gee, the brass is being awfully considerate, aren't they? Oh, and belated congratulations on your promotion, second lieutenant. Thank you very much, ma'am. Well, I guess I'll begin. It looks like we've got a lot of work ahead of us. No need to rush things. There's no way two people can get through all this. Oh, don't worry. I've already spoken with Garrison Command. They're sending over dozens of spare personnel to help us out. You did what? I figured you'd want to get these files organized as quickly as possible. Having a capable assistant is going to be a real problem. I should have left her to die in the trenches back at the Rhine front. <laughs> You're gonna have an opening? First Lieutenant okay. Aisha Schubert, looking forward to joining your battalion. First Lieutenant Klein Ballhelm, likewise eager to serve the Fatherland. Stand at ease. I'm Colonel Gregorio Von Turner, head of the Mage Battalion Organization Committee. The two of you are to report to the 6th Air Squadron Command immediately for a new deployment. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir, but we were told that we've been assigned to this garrison and to report here by 1400 hours today. There's been a slight change in orders. Of course, sir, we understand. <clears throat> also, please keep in mind that everything you've seen and heard today is highly classified. Should you let anything slip, you'll be harshly punished. Understood? Yes, sir! <laughs> we can't pass them huh. it's my decision those who fail my painfully easy test deserve to be sent back to their units sure but this is the 13th pair you said no to today I know it's appalling I was sure at least four of them would have the brains to pass I hate to remind you but strategic HQ has demanded we speed up the selection process okay So you're saying that the creation of the Mage Battalion is nothing but propaganda? And I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut and go back? Yes, that's correct. Though I'm glad to see you're so ambitious. Please continue to volunteer in the future. I understand, sir. Thank you. The Colonel is a construct I've created using a simple optical spell. His voice is a magical facsimile. So this is the test that's causing you to fail so many of the talented soldiers who've applied. A skilled mage should be able to see through this illusion easily. Most of the potential recruits who've stood here have been completely fooled. I had no choice but to send them back to their units. So far only 12 people have passed. <laughs> that's only enough for a company. I'm afraid you're going to have to lower the criteria for passing. Then I'll need time to re-educate the recruits so that they meet the high standards my mobile battalion is to maintain. How long do you think that will take? I can train them in a month. <gasps> That's all the time you're requesting? Usually training a new soldier can take up to two years. Get it done. Even if you have to get a little rough with the soldiers to whip them into top shape. You can count on me, sir. <laughs> this won't be pretty. <laughs> I can't believe she actively chooses to go back to Tanya over and over again. Like, why would she do that? It's freezing out here. I knew she was gonna pull something like this. That was your wake-up call. No need to thank me, maggots. <laughs> A little birdie told me that the artillery unit running exercises in this area had some empty shells they needed to get rid of. I figured I'd give them a chance to have some fun while getting target practice in. Don't worry. They don't have much spare ammo lying around, so this exercise will be a fairly quick one. They'll run dry in exactly 36 hours, so you just have to survive till then. <sighs> Did she say 36 hours? Well then, shall we begin? Let's see how good you are at defensive training! Take 
should be able to block the shells using magic shielding. Huh. Well, that's unexpected. I guess the artillery screwed up because it looks like there are live shells mixed in. Ma'am, don't you think you're going too far? Another way! Everyone, get down! We can do this! Just a little more. She's satisfied. Wow, those 36 hours just flew by, didn't they? Knowing you're <laughs> all eager recruits, I'm positive you haven't had enough fun yet. No need to fret. Your next training assignment begins right now. You have 48 hours to reach your new camp. No spells or flight magic allowed. If I detect any used, I'll launch a magic artillery strike of my own. I'll give you this one piece of advice, too. Be on your guard as you travel. You never know what you'll run into. Man. I would really want to pass the... Be one of the 12 to pass the original test. Maybe she was just trying to scare us, is all. Possibly. Knowing the captain, I wouldn't put it past her, but still. <laughs> Damn it. She's probably laughing at us right now. She's nothing but a damn monster! during a training exercise. <gasps> Abandoning your duty is grounds for the firing squad. Wake up. Hey! Huh? Hang in there. You'll be okay. Come on! No. Is he dead? Huh. Too inept to even dodge an avalanche. <laughs> Not even human. I don't think it's possible for me to drop out. If I tried, she'd kill me. Well, that's everyone then. This may have been unexpected, but it revealed much about your abilities. At this point, you'll never reach your objective before the time runs out on you. If anyone wants to quit, now's the time to... I'm looking forward to continuing my training, ma'am. Huh? Huh? Yes, me too. I am not giving up. For the Empire. What do we do next? Come on, men. We can still finish this exercise. Forward march! Uh, uh, hey, what up, guys? As of today, you are no longer scum. <laughs> you are my elite <laughs> Imperial warriors. Yeah, the lesson. Now, She's learning. Something much bigger than yourself. She your can't talent. escape him. From this moment until the day you die, you are members of an honorable brotherhood. This path so is good. not easy, but wherever you go, no matter the state of the world, the army is your family. Every one of you will know war. Some of you will not return from it. 
However, you must always remember this. It's a gift to die for your country. Remember, the Empire will live on forever. That means all of you will live on forever as well. No matter what happens to you, your spirit will continue to fight on for the Fatherland! Bam! How did this happen? How did this all work out so well? Did I sabotage myself? Maybe it's because I used the Type 95 too much in training. It's possible that stupid thing fried my brain. Major Degurachov, a communique from Strategic HQ. Understood. They want an immediate answer. Yes, ma'am. There's a messenger waiting outside. Huh? I'm Lieutenant Colonel Raragon from Strategic Headquarters. Congratulations on your promotion, Major. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel. I recognize your name, of course, but I'm not sure we've met. It was my understanding that you were out inspecting various battlefronts. Yes, I was, but I've been back for a few days. Is something wrong? No, nothing. In that case, I'd like to ask for some clarifications. This order I've been given was assigned to the highest priority level possible. It says we're to depart for the Southeastern Garrison at once. That's right. I was told your 203rd Aerial Mage Battalion has been assembled and is ready for action. They're assembled, true, but they're still basically in training. I'd like another six months at least to get them into top shape. The inspector assured me that they were deployable despite being a relatively new batch of soldiers. All of them are using prototypes of the next generation Elenium Type 97. That equipment can't go to waste. And I'm told they've already completed training at 8,000 meters. Yes, but I've just got them new gear to balance out their strength and it needs to be tested. It was hard to come by, but Engineer Shugel owed me a favor. Our military has no resources to spare. The Rhine Theater to the west is currently in a stalemate, and we haven't yet wrapped things up in the north. And that's exactly what has me confused. Why are we being sent to the Southeastern Theater instead of those? Because that's where HQ thinks you'll be of the most use. They've read my reports, and their decision is final. Then I'm sure they're correct. Now, if you'll excuse me... Oh, one more thing. Hmm? Just some advice from one officer to another. The southeastern garrison is a long way from headquarters. It might be a good idea for you to learn to speak Dakian. Dakian, huh? What is Dakian? Like a, a like language? The Entente Alliance, the Republic, and now it seems the Dukedom of Dakia is lashing out. Ma'am, a message from the Southern Zone. Emergency. The Dakians are invading. A core-sized unit has of crossed our they are. borders. Yes, the enemy infantry is approximately 600,000 strong in four groups. What about their aerial forces? There's been no report of enemy mages at all, ma'am. Really? Has there been a communications glitch? Everything's in working order. Also, we're picking up unencrypted communications from the enemy, and they haven't mentioned air support either. No, they must be fakes if they're unencrypted. It's a trick. They wouldn't invade without troops in the sky. It seems odd, but all the communications we picked up in the area have been like this, and they've been accurate so far. They aren't encrypting communications, and they're marching in with no aerial forces. I didn't expect the Dakian army to be so inept at battle. Attention! Our commander has an important message for us. It's time for you to prove your worth. Today we go to war. Soldiers, after everything you've been through, this should be a piece of cake. Today happens to be my birthday, and it seems the Dukedom of Dakia must have known this, because they've sent me a wonderful present. They're basically throwing me a surprise party, and the people look at, on the look, it's an Air are Force. going to be your targets. <laughs> you may choose to shoot them or destroy them with spells. Whichever you need to improve upon. With guaranteed air supremacy on our side, I expect this to be an enemy bloodbath. This should be like slaughtering Boy Scouts. And one last thing. Remember that this time your targets will be shooting back at you, if they can. <sighs> Not that any of you were stupid enough to be hit by a bullet, of course. I 
Look at them, this is air They're sitting ducks down there, just walking corpses. Like shooting fish in a barrel. I pity any fool who misses. Penetrating spells! Fire! <laughs> We can't let Weiss's company kill more than us. Let's catch up. Prepare artillery spells. Fire at will! Well, this is disappointing. I have nothing to do. I thought this would be a tougher battle, but it's basically turning out to be a real walk in the park. <laughs> what, you were scared of a mere three divisions of soldiers? It's a wonder you survived the Rhine. Yeah, okay, but Major, three divisions, that's kind of a lot. I think your understanding of what's a threat and what's not can sometimes be a little... Be a little what? Oh no, nothing, Major, never mind! <sighs> Actually, on second thought, you might just be right, Second Lieutenant Serebriakov. I am? About what? This hopelessly pathetic group of men doesn't deserve to be called soldiers, much less a division. I can see how there was a misunderstanding. I should have just called them civilians. How foolish. I'll be clearer next time. <laughs> This is too easy, but it is the first modern war this world has ever seen. These countries have yet to understand what a powerful threat aerial forces represent on the battlefield. Oh. What's this? What are they doing down there? I believe they're lining up to fire a volley at us. You're kidding me. Do they really think that's going to work? Next, they'll just be throwing rocks at us. Lieutenant Vice? Why is he falling back? Why is he breaking formation? Enemy infantry is forming a double-A defense formation. So per Imperial strategies, he's falling back to the limits of his company's range to avoid... Can't that fight. idiot strategize for himself for once? Does he really think that the sad excuse for an infantry can hit a flying mage who I've trained? Uh, good point. If anyone's foolish enough to get shot down, I'll slit their throats myself before they hit the ground! Come on, I'm tired of standing back and watching! We're going in! Follow me! <laughs> Another attack wave! Fire at will! <laughs> Damn it! Come down here and fight like men! Huh. I bet these morons can't imagine what actual war even looks like. Drop grenades! They're such weak troops. Did they really think a handful of men with guns could invade the Empire? What a bunch of imbeciles. This looks like the actual Dakian Army's HQ, not just a decoy. They're broadcasting communications without even thinking of encryption. I'm beginning to think we mowed down a bunch of tourists, not soldiers. You Imperial bastards! Welcome to the Fatherland! What's the purpose of your visit? Business or pleasure? Can I see your visa? How dare you mock us! <laughs> oh, so you don't have a visa. You can still enter the country. As <laughs> prisoners of war. Come on, men! Kill this Imperial scum! Attack! I almost feel bad for them. Don't. Kill everyone except the commander. Right! Pack up everything you find. These will make great gifts for Strategic HQ. You, take that corpse, booby trap it, and put it with the rest. Have the remaining enemy soldiers regrouped? Yes, ma'am. Shall we eliminate the leftover forces? Where's our Imperial backup? The Seventh Air Fleet is set to arrive shortly. As soon as they've reloaded their bombs, they'll launch a full-scale attack. Then we'll let them have some fun and annihilate the leftovers. 
We're advancing. Right. Where are we going, ma'am? To their capital. The Dockian capital? That's right. Why stop now? We're moving forward. The Empire could use more <laughs> territory, and I'm wondering how far we can take this. Let's see how strong our battalion is. Indeed. Such hubris, but like... Come on. Come on. Target sighted. It looks like a Republic backed arms factory to me. I wonder if those buildings are full of explosive materials. It's strange. For such a strategic location, I'm not detecting any air defense. I was not expecting right. to like they this haven't show, caught up to but the I'm really, yeah, I've been really interested in it. I have no idea it. how ill-prepared they are. This is an excellent chance to show off our power. Second Lieutenant, we aren't barbarians who ignore international wartime law and attack civilians unannounced. <laughs> An adherence to the ethical conventions of combat will warn the workers and give them time to evacuate the buildings before we strike. Yes, but Major, by doing that, we completely lose the element of surprise. First Lieutenant Vice, you could really benefit from being more flexible on the battlefield. Right. I'm sorry, ma'am. Second Lieutenant, give the warning immediately. Use the international communications line. Um, yes, I could. But are you sure I'm the best person to do that? Uh, huh? <sighs> You've got a point. Maybe I should be the one to do it. Attention, please! Uh -huh. In accordance with international law, it's my job to inform you mm -hmm. that you are about to come under attack. Consider this your official grown-up warning. This is your only warning. The Imperial Army is about to attack your weapons <laughs> facility. Evacuate the building! <laughs> This is amazing, Major. Your childish voice has them all thinking this is just a prank. Hmm? What a believable performance. I didn't know you'd had acting lessons, ma'am. <sighs> listen up, troops. We fulfilled our duty under international law. It's not our fault they didn't listen to us. All units, prepare long-range spells. We'll take out the Carbellius Weapons Factory for the Empire. All companies. Match your fire to the commanders. I can't. I mean, I don't know what this has to do with theology yet, other than you know the, the whole moment where she's. I still think she's trying to learn a lesson. I'm just kind of thoroughly enjoying this, and I don't think our main character is that bad. It kind of, she kind of reminds me of my grandfather. Yeah, I don't. I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. But I'll see you next time. I'm. This is. This is pretty good.